in this video we tried something new if i say so myself these two guys look pretty darn good but let's not get ahead of ourselves because this was a bumpy ride well instead of playing with paper mache today we're gonna do something a little bit different i wanted to play around with some casting i've got an old mold that i did a long time ago and i got some of this perfect plaster stuff so let's see what we can make with this Well, this is a great start. No sound, as you can see. Had this cool intro all strung out and ready to go. Basically, in a nutshell, this is what we got going on. I got that bag of plaster stuff down there. I want to test it out. We got some old molds. We got some of this plaster stuff. We're going to mix this stuff up, and I'm going to try to do a slush cast, which is something I've never done before, and we're going to give it a try. I don't even know if the material I'm using it's really going to be any good for slush casting, but you guys get to find out. So let's get a hun with this video. All right, so here we go. Uh, yeah, according to the instructions on this uh, plaster cast, this perfect cast, it's a three to one ratio. So it's uh, three parts of this plaster stuff to the one uh, part of water. Also says to stir this stuff up really, really good. Two or three minutes, which is what I did. Problem is, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I really mixed way too much. I was only going to do one little cast, but instead of wasting this junk, I grabbed the other mold and went ahead and poured what I had left inside that thing. And then we sat around for what felt like forever, just turning these things and letting them set, turning them and letting them set, turning them and letting them set. Once again, no sound, but look at me. I look happy. Everything looks like it went off good. And I'm sure I'm telling you something in this clip here about how it's dried up. It's time to pull it out of the mold and let's see what the results are going to be and that type of stuff. You know, the usual, just carrying on and on and on and on. But as you can see, I demolded the first one and it looked like it was a little too thin. It even had some holes in it. Uh, there were some broken pieces in the back, as you can see, but it was a first time casting, so here we go, you know. And then we're going to pull out the other mold, too, as well, since we're here. And when I pull this thing out, I think I tell you something along the lines of the fact that it looks like it's pretty good on the outside, uh, except it's got a huge casting mark on the back side that's going to get cleaned up. Uh, and something about I didn't like the way the inside was. It wasn't smooth. But yet, here we are. So for the first part of cleanup, we're going to grab some needle nose pliers here. And we're just going to get a little too aggressive and snap this stuff off. Like we don't have a care in the world. As if this junk couldn't break. Then after that, we're going to grab the old Go-Getter 2000. We're going to dig ourselves out the eyeball holes, the mouth holes, and the teeth holes. Because what's a pumpkin if it doesn't light up? Uh, yeah, that created a mess. But the flashing, uh, you can see we really got most of that down. You can't really see it, even on the big one. Can't see a whole lot of it, but you can see. Um, I didn't clean it up very good on those. This does stand pretty decent. I mean, uh, this product has got to be, it's like a plaster type stuff, whatever. I'm not, I don't, I'm not... I don't do a lot of molding, a bunch of casting, so I'm not a pro when it comes to this. I'm just playing around here. We're just trying to see what can be done. So we poured it, we kind of slash cast it, we got these things out, and yeah. But now we got to deal with these holes in the back. Um, little ones here, the bottom of this one, I don't like the way it's flaked out in certain areas, so I want to thicken that up uh so what would this channel be if we didn't try to use paper mache of some type so i'm going to take some paper clay to see if i can use it to patch the holes in this and do the bottom side of the other one and uh see how it turns out it's time to find out just how much of a multimedia paper clay really is I took a piece that was a little bit bigger than that big hole in the back. That's what we started with. Smashed that in on the back side and let it kind of squish through on the outside. And then took the edges and kind of pressed them over the uh, 
plaster if that's making any sense to you whatsoever anyway kind of filled the hole that way it's looking pretty good did basically the same thing with the small holes just pressed paper clay on the back side let it squeeze through the outside and then smooth it out once we got that done just set that back to the side and let it dry so I have both of these set for a little over 24 hours uh, you can see here on the small one that the hole the patch on that hole in the back side it is holding up rather good and then I used it on the bottom of the of the other one there and got that bottom side you know a little nicer not so thin and then there was a nasty kind of crease on the back side of that one as well that we put in to try to smooth out now we're basically just going to take and uh, use a little sandpaper sand the stuff down and we should be ready to paint With the pumpkins prime let's add some color orange brown yellow and white the holy grail of pumpkin colors first thing we're going to do is mix a little bit of orange and some brown that'll give us this nice dark dirty orange color to to start out as a base for this painting process So, you know, here's where things start to go wrong. Yeah, I said I primed these things, right? I'm pretty sure I put a primer on them, but the paint is peeling off of these things. Sitting there trying to figure out what I've done wrong until I realized I didn't prime them. I just used a base coat of white spray paint. I didn't grab the primer. It was just standard white paint. So, my orange isn't sticking to it. Yo. What the now these guys are actually in primer let's do it again this time i'll use my magic paintbrush boom oh, they're painted now let me just give you the general concept of this paint job before we throw this in the fast mode we start off with a dark dingy brown and then we paint the whole thing then we lighten it up by adding a little more orange paint we go around the whole thing again each time we lighten the paint up to paint around the pumpkins we are going to get further and further away from this spot right here we're going to leave this dark and then gradually lighten up so we'll start off brown orange add more orange a little more orange and then we're going to add some yellow to the orange and we'll add a little more yellow to the orange and then we'll finally finish off with just straight yellow doing some highlights on the top and bottom while you guys are sitting back enjoying this awesome paint montage i'd like to take this time to thank all those patrons out there you guys you guys rock once all the color painting was done and actually all cured up i went ahead and gave this a sealer coat with like a eggshell clear just to seal in all that color and right now they look pretty good so um, we're just gonna slap on a whole bunch of black yeah we're gonna do a black wash over the top of this and hope and pray that comes out looking pretty good and a little bit learned in this whole thing i'm definitely no pro caster or anything like that maybe we'll play some more maybe i can learn some more i'm definitely i have a lot more that i can learn but these didn't turn out too bad i'm pretty happy with them he looks pretty good they both look pretty good and even going with the you know the darker paint there i think that helped it out i was really questioning whether or not uh i should do it but I do like the way it turned out. They're hollow inside. As you saw, we can put candle lights in them. That stuff's awesome. As far as I'm concerned, I think I saved these. I mean, can't see the big hole anymore. We used a little paper mache clay inside here. Don't know the difference. I mean, if you look inside, yeah, maybe, but from the outside, can't tell. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more, or maybe check out one of these other videos around here. 
Keep making something from nothing.